Hi boys and girls, Miss Gemma here, how are you? In today's lesson we're going to talk about multiplication. Let's go find out what that is. So what is multiplication? When we first see multiplication, it is equal groups, by which we calculate using repeated addition. An example of this is three times four can be seen as three groups with four in them. Calculating this with a repeated addition is four plus four plus four. As we move through school, it becomes the more formal format of multiplication tables, or as we know, times tables, which looks like three times four equals 12. So knowing this is not enough. We have to know and understand the relationship between the times tables. Let's take a closer look at this with the two, four and eight times tables by using doubling. Okay, so here's our table that's gonna help us with our doubling to work at our multiplication tables. So we should all know our twos. Hopefully Miss Gemma remembers them. Okay, so we've got two, four, Six, so we're adding two each time. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Now that should be two times ten. So, yep, that's right. 22, 24. So in this column, I've just got the times tables just to remind us. Okay, so make sure your twos are right before we go on to the fours. Okay, so now we need to do learn the trick, boys and girls. Okay, so we've done the twos. So now, to get to the fours, we need to double our twos, okay? So two plus two equals four. And just to check, four times one equals four, okay? So, well, let's keep going. So four plus four equals eight. Six plus six is 12 or double eight is 16. So four times four is 16, and we're adding four each time. So there's lots of ways of checking to make sure we're on the right track. Okay, so now we double the 10 to get 20. Double 12 to get 24. Double 14 to get 28. So if you're not sure, you just make sure you add an extra four to the previous number. Double 16 is 32. Double 18, now, now we're getting a bit tricky. Okay, so let's try this. Two, two eights are 16. Plus two plus one more is 36. So that's two 18s. Double 20 is 40. And then we've got 22 plus 22 is 44. And then we've got 24 doubled, which is 48. Mm, how did you go, boys and girls? Again, make sure your four times tables are correct before we go on to the eight. Okay, so for the final part in this lesson, boys and girls, we need to double to get the eights. So we need to double the fours. So, so far, we've got started with the twos, then we doubled the twos to get fours, 
Now we're going to double the fours to get eights. Okay? All right, let's go. So double four or four plus four is eight. So eight times one is eight. Then we've got two eights or double eight, which is 16. Remember, we're, we're adding eight every time. Now, double 12 is 24. Double 16 is 32. Double 20 is 40. No, yes, 40. So we can quickly check this. 8 times 5, if you know your 5's times tables, you can check that. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we're on the right track, boys and girls. Okay, so now double 24 is 48. And again, we've added 8. Double 28. I need to do this one. So 2, 8 is 16. So we write the 6 plus 2 plus 1 more is 5. So 56. Now I'm not sure about this one, so I need to check this. So 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. <gasps> I was right, boys and girls. Okay, double 32 is 64. For some reason that number always sticks in my head. Double 36. Okay, so two sixes are 12, so we'll put the two plus six plus one is seven, so 72. Double 40 is 80. Double 44 is 88. Okay, and double 48. Okay, let's try that one. So two eights are 16, so we'll write the six. Plus two fours is eight, plus the one we carried is nine. Okay? All right, so they're all our doubling. So we started with the twos. We doubled the twos to get the fours. Then we doubled the fours to get the eights. And there was lots of different ways that we could check it as we went. Boys and girls, there is a worksheet with lots of examples to help you practice learning your multiplication tables 2, 4 and 8. You did a terrific job, boys and girls. Now that you have started to learn to double, your next lesson could be to learn your 3, 6 and 12 multiplication tables, using your knowledge of doubling to help you. I'll see you in our next lesson.